All right, what's up, guys? Uh, we got a new channel here for you guys. I'm Brian. This is Michael. This is M and B Dips. <laughs> so this channel, our cover photo thing. Banner. Um, yeah, banner. Uh, it says dip reviews and gaming. That's not all we're gonna do on here. We're also gonna be having just a bunch of randomness blogs. Whatever you think, we'll be here. Um, but this video here today is a dip review for a new dip that just came out. And it's not long dip, so we all know that's Southern Sweet Tea. So we have his very first dip, Wild Watermelon. Here's the Southern Sweet Tea. We have Outlaw's Wild Watermelon. This is his very first. His second one was Badass Bourbon. His third one was Lucky Lipper. Personally, my favorite, and it came was Wild Watermelon, Badass Bourbon, and now we're going to see which one this lines up to, Southern Sweet Tea. I am personally excited for this one. I can't wait. So why don't we, uh, PDS, yeah. pack, dip, spit, enjoy. Just how the can says. Ain't got one. In. Go ahead, pack a dip. Enjoy it with us. You struggle cracking cans, don't you? Pack. Yeah, I'm weird. I always side pack my cans. It's a little tough to open. I do like the new designs, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can definitely smell the tea now. Go away. Oh, right? See how black that is? Also, the mud drug I'm spitting in today is going to be the Outlaws Roadie, the Backwoods Badass. So, it's kind of an older one, but y'all know what it is. Mine's just a standard olive green, classic mud jug. Alright, get a pinch. Oh, juicy. Oh, juicy. Yes. Mmm. No killer filler. Mm. All that juice that's left on your hands, dude. I'm struggling. I would say right off the bat, you definitely taste the tea in it. Mm-hmm. A lot of tea flavor. I'm actually surprised I like this one because I don't like tea. Yeah. I've actually never cared for tea. But this is good. Definitely beat the wild watermelon for me. Lucky lip are still number one though. Oh yeah. Kind of just like a dark tea. I get the sweetness. Honestly, I thought this one would be a little too sweet. Mm. I don't know. I didn't think it was going to beat the sweetness of the uh, Lucky Lipper. Yeah, that's true. That one's kind of hard to beat. That one's really sweet. <laughs> it is really sweet. It's good, though. Definitely wouldn't be my everyday dip. But this is what the grizzly dark winter drink? Yeah. So the everyday dip for me is a grizzly dark long cut winter green. At this point I don't have an everyday dip. It used to be Copenhagen straight, but copyrights. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I, I backed out of the uh Copenhagen straight. I found other dips that I liked. If I did have an everyday dip, it would definitely be the Lucky Lipper right now. I don't think I have any negative about this. I don't. Mm -mm. I still love the cut. Love the flavor. You don't get much tobacco flavor when you first put it in. And it lasts forever, too. It does. 
last a three hour plane ride. Hopefully, it should. I know a lot of my friends that used to dip, they only dipped because of flavor. So when the flavor ran out, they throw it out. Mm. I know he did a, uh, he what, upgraded the free nicotine, right? Yeah. Not really feeling nicotine right now. Mm -hmm. Not like I did when he updated the wild watermelon and lucky lipper. I think I just have a high nicotine tolerance. Yeah. I've never tasted, I've never gotten the nicotine kick from any dip. I did when I first started. Change when you have Siberia though. I do want to try Siberia. Really bad. I think the last dip I felt the nicotine from was Zen. Yeah, a lot of the spitless ones, I should feel the nicotine more. I don't even feel the nicotine from Zen anymore. Wow. It's annoying. <laughs> but I do feel some nicotine now. Not much. No. Still really good on flavor. It's still juicing a lot. It's good. Drink it with water and it tastes like tea. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> it does. That's uh -huh. actually pretty nice. <laughs> How about we start with how you first started dipping? Uh, I was at a... There was a science exhibition for school that was downtown. I used to... If we went, we would get extra credit for school, but I would show up, get the ticket, leave. Once it was over, I'd go back, show the teacher the ticket, and get the extra credit. So a lot of the time we were just sitting there, I had a couple of buddies of mine who were dipping at the time and they'd offer me some dip. I was like, all right, you know, I'll try. It doesn't hurt to try. So from there, I just started with a little bit, just kept going higher and higher and ended up at a quarter can of dip for <laughs> one dip. Whoops. But ever since that day, I've been dipping. That's been almost three years ago. Was your first dip story? Or how you started? My first dip was actually a couple days after I turned 18. I did a typical 18 year old thing, bought a pack of cigarettes, bought a pack of dip, <laughs> fucking e juice, a new mod. Now when you say pack, did you buy a can or did yeah, you buy a, a can. roll? A can. It's actually skull mint. Cause I didn't know what I was doing at the time. And I had one pinch out of it because I had braces on still. Mm. So that ended everywhere. Oh, fuck yeah. Stuck I see the braces. In my room, I still have a full can of skull. <laughs> really? Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah. But then when I first started getting back into it, when I discovered Outlaw, and I still have braces on at time, so I decided to give another try with Copenhagen Winter Green Long Cut. I got used to doing it with braces, but then I switched to the pouches because I don't have, have like a month left until I had my braces taken off. And I was like s over six months ago, and ever since then, I pretty much every day. Yeah, but we do it what multiple times a day? Oh, yeah. Well, I do at least. Yesterday, after that Thanksgiving dinner. Woo wee! That was great. Oh, yeah. It was probably one of the best dips I've ever had. I don't normally dip. After a meal, I more dip when I'm on the move. So when I'm like outside or I'm going somewhere, yeah. you know, whatever the case is, I don't really dip when I'm inside. But yeah, it's great. See, I can't keep a dip in long if I'm just sitting there, not having anything to do. So I gotta like actually be active and doing something. Like when I'm in the car, I can do it. But if I'm just sitting at home watching TV, it's... I don't keep it in for long. The most difficult time I found dipping 
was playing a video game. Trying to use a controller and not to stop what I'm doing, grab the mud jug, spit in it. The fucking buy a net brace. Have you spit doing right there? Nope. Not doing that. Uh, that would be funny. I'll just go really old western and just spit across the room when I do the spittoon. Full metal one. Yep. Big ass ones. Gotta get a nice big spittoon. Spit right across the room. Right into it. That would be amusing. It'd be great. Be your dad's. Is that across your room? Like, what's that noise? Oh, it's just Brian spitting. So a sibling walks right in front of it. Oops. So, but again, this channel is going to be more about, you know, dip reviews, dipping in general, gaming, probably post a couple of streams from our Twitch. Random vlogs, especially when we go on our trip beginning of December up to Great Lakes. Probably just be a travel vlog and then vlog a couple times up there. Should be fun going up there. Yeah. I hope it's snowing. I want to push one of the kids into the snow or throw a snowball at them. I'll just plop right in the snow. <laughs> Tank top and all. Sneak. What else are we going to do for the channel? Um, I would say probably more reviews, more on the e-juice side, and different mods. So yeah, we also both bait. I can actually show you my stuff right now. I got the Voopoo Drag with the dead rabbit on it. So that's my setup right now. See, I'm running the v Dodd limited edition steel mod. It's one out of 3,000 made, along with the v Dodd Pro Trick Tank. I'm biased to v Dodd. <laughs> So having these dips in for a while now, we still I can still taste the um, the flavoring of it. I do get a little bit more of the tobacco flavor now. It has it just a darker flavor mm -hmm. after a while. I just I taste a lot more tobacco now. Yeah, which doesn't I don't mind too much because I still love the taste of the tobacco. So it doesn't phase me at all. I mean I can still taste the flavoring this southern sweet tea. I'm still not getting much more nicotine kick. Mm -hmm. So. Talk about the cans. Can. Go for it. So one thing I've always liked about Outlaw is cans just pop at you. Very, This one's very vibrant in color. You gotta love that Outlaw logo. I'm sure if you had them in stores, there'd be a lot more people that would see them and be like, ooh, let's try that. Especially down here in Tucson, you don't get a wide variety no. of dips, besides the main brands. Most I see down here is Skull Grizzly, Copenhagen, it's been some Longhorn, and then the Camel. And Camel's Zen. right here. Zen's only in some places, very few places have Zen. Same with, I think Soul Caves have Kodak. As well. Kodiak? Yeah. I actually haven't seen any of the Kodiaks or the Stokers. I haven't found Stokers yet. I know Tobacco Barn does, but Tobacco Barn is all the way on the other side of town for us. <laughs> yeah. So we don't really go there that often. I actually have never been there. Definitely want to review that though. Stokers. It's not bad. It was an everyday dip for me for a little while. It wasn't too long though. I had a tub of it. I've had a couple different tubs of it. <laughs> I know one of my tubs had it in the back seat of my car. And my ex girlfriend's brother in the back seat. And he kicked it underneath the seat and popped the lid off and just <laughs> it was all over underneath that seat. One thing about the lid though. Is I don't think I would be dipping this a lot when I'm driving. The cans are 
Lids are a little hard to get off of, but they're a whole lot better than what they used to be. They just pretty much popped right off. Oh, my wild watermelon cans, the old school cans, so it just, as we all know, it just pops right off. The uh, Lucky Lipper, I believe, is their second fix, so it's yeah. a pain to get off. You gotta like twist it as you're doing it when it's new. The Southern Sweet Tea, I actually have no problem getting off. You can get that off pretty easily. See, after a while, too, the. And it pops right back on like it's supposed to. Works well. I actually like the new can setups. I know we're kind of all over in this video, but it's our first one, so. <laughs> well, what yeah. you gonna do? Not much we can do. Just keep the video recording. Get better at it over time. Hopefully. <laughs> It is that hopefully part in there. So, how about how we know each other? Hmm? Bat story of how we know each other. Short backstory. Short backstory. It is a very short backstory to how we met. Um, this one is actually my brother-in-law. He married one of my sisters. One of his twins sisters. One of my twin sisters. It's actually why we're going up to Great Lakes because she graduates from the Navy boot camp December 7th. First female for machinist mate on a submarine. Really? First female in history for it. Oh, damn. Because they opened it up to females being on submarines about three years ago, but no one's been on as a machinist mate. All right. So. Family will be famous in more than one ways. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. We don't talk about that. Maybe some other time. Mm. We don't talk about that. By the way, not all of our adventures go as planned. Mainly. A good majority of them. <laughs> yeah. We don't talk about that. Not in flesh. That's a story where if they find out, good for them. Yeah. So, oh, um, the dip. Final thoughts. It's mostly tobacco flavor. I still get like a hint of tea. Whenever I drink more water, I get that tea flavor again. Mm. I don't drink water that often though. Yeah. Especially not while I'm dipping. It stays good pretty well though. I think it's because of the white cut. And I run anywhere between half a can to three quarters of a can a day. Damn. <laughs> My final thoughts about it are that tea flavor is really nice, not too sweet, and definitely up there with Outlaw's with Outlaw's Lucky Lipper. One of my favorite dips. So, I definitely like the other three as well. Badass bourbon took me a little while to get into. I still haven't found a bourbon flavor that I actually like. Outlaw's Badass Bourbon, I like more than any of the other uh, bourbon flavors. If you guys find this video, make sure to subscribe and share with who you know that also dip. And if we get enough subscribers, they will do a full can of something. Don't know yet, but... Will be I've always wanted to do a full can. We'll leave it up to them. To them whether what we use for a full can. Nothing too crazy though. And no Siberia. I don't want to end up on the floor dead. Yeah. Great for the views though. <laughs> It would be. It would actually be pretty funny. Hospital bill won't be funny. <laughs> no. But if we get enough subscribers, we're not going to tell you guys how many subscribers. It's going to say doubles. Okay. You just need to hit the double digits. We'll do a full can 
pouches, long cut, back cut. It can even be snus. So we'll go go out, go find the cans. And do a full can for you guys. Should be fun. But thank you for their enjoyment. Sorry, it's not my go. But also again, there's gonna be vlogs, there's gamings. Most likely the gaming videos are gonna be from our Twitch. I'll leave a link in the description box so you can go follow us. In case you guys are wondering, we do have two different Twitch streams that run. Um, at the same time, usually. Yeah, we're usually running at the same time. Right now, it's always been as Naruto, Battlefield, some Rocket League. I'll be sure to upload some of those later. We're going to start into... I think we have a short video of PUBG. Yeah. We're going to eventually get Fortnite as well. So there, there's going to be a wide variety of games. Hopefully I can get a bigger terabyte system going so that way I can have more games. Do you guys have any suggestions for us what we should do next? What we should stream more? Just leave a comment below. So that's going to end this video for today. We haven't figured out schedules for the Twitch or YouTube yet. Hopefully we can sit down soon. They got scheduling for you guys. But that's going to end this video. Thanks for watching. Come back for more at some point. Subscribe if you like. Turn the notifications on. Leave a like. Do everything you possibly can. <laughs> Pretty much. Adios, guys. Thanks for watching.